Good afternoon, London. Thank you for being here with us this afternoon. What a great job those startups have done, right? Thank you guys for the great presentations. And for those of you who have been with us since selection days, I'm sure you have seen the journey they have gone on to and the changes they have made within their business. When we started, started Bootcamp in SureTech in 2015, I had a lot of voices and noises telling me, you know, not sure what this InsureTech thinks is about. But since then, we have gone on an amazing journey. When you look at InsureTech, 2013, there was not that much, but look at the curve now. There is a lot of investment being made in the industry or the sector. 11 billion has been invested in, in InsureTech startups so far. Small number compared to our FinTech cousin, but this represents only 30% of the total number of startups which are out there in InsureTech. So a lot of new solutions I'm sure, going to come to market in the next few years. So as I said, when I started in InsureTech in 2015, some corporates told me, not sure what this is, really. You know, how could we dare involve startups in our secured and protected environment? What do they have that we do not have yet? Well, we know that open innovation is part of any organization strategy today, and a lot of them have actually outsourced a lot of those services to drive better research and development capability within their organizations. I'm a very lucky gal. I've been working for the past three years with a lot of amazing businesses, startups, investors, insurers, we didn't have much space to put more logos, but there's a lot of them missing here. Uh, but thank you for, our trust, for our, your trust in us and allowing us to take you on our journey and helping you learn about innovation and work with startups. But today, when I look at all the different questions and statements that comes to me from the corporate side, insurers tell me, you know, there are too many accelerators out there. How are you going to find the best startups for us to be? And we want to differentiate. We want these answers before other people out there. On the startup side, get a lot of startups saying, we love you to bet, Sabine. But you know what? Whilst we want to gain market share with you, your three-month commitment is still a bit of a bummer. We know that in markets like London and New York, there's a little bit of an accelerator fatigue. And a lot of corporates tell us, we just want access to commercial pilots. We want to engage and work with amazing startups. We want you to give us the tools and techniques to do that. We know we need to do the incremental stuff, but we want to see more of the disruptive stuff. We want to move from process implementations or process improvement to really understanding the business models which are going to affect us tomorrow. After three years working with great organizations, it is clear and re reasonable that actually they have different questions to answer and also different imperatives, strategic imperatives that they want to see fulfilled. So that's why we are actually launching the InsurTech Code App. It's a new engagement model which aims to tack tackle issues and big problems within corporate environments, mature corporate environments, to help them address fast evolving market needs. The program will focus on growth startups. They will be also focused on sectors and themes combined together. It's designed for mature markets because the companies in those markets are more able to take advantage of the learning they have actually acquired during the past year working with fintech or insurtech startups and actually work with new innovative innovation models. 
There will be several, several cycles per year. So we are going to work through waves. It will involve startups and corporates being in the same room to solve problems together. And the outcome will be a focus on commercial outcomes, agreed commercial outcomes. We have to drive impact for the industry. So it's more than a matchmaking service. That means we are going to have KPIs. As I said, we are going to work on a great set of outcomes. And we will probably be less visible because our goal will be to drive competitive advantage for those partners working with us. It's not for everyone. However, organizations in the room who have experience with incubators and accelerators, who have built their own startups, who have built their own innovation labs or venture arm, and believe in the power of innovation, they, you should be able to like this style of active participation and engagement model. So talk to me and join us on this new journey. So now it's time to say a few thanks. As I said, for the past three years, we've worked with amazing companies. I want to thank the partners of the program. We will not be able to do what we are doing today without those guys behind me. They are giving time, resource, efforts, coming to London to meet and work with the startups on a weekly basis. So thank you for being part of that journey. So I want to thank our mentors. Over 200 mentors have worked with our startups since 2015. So thank you guys for actually doing the same. And the investors, we can't do what we are doing without the investors, right? We have probably a database of 1,000 investors. There's 140 of them as well coming to the bootcamp on a regular basis. And that just a few of the logos of those investors coming, questioning the startups, making sure that their propositions are tight and their uh, business plans make sense. So thank you. <laughs> and we could not do what we do without a core team. I've opened a program in Hartford, Connecticut. I have a guess, I have to travel twice, two, two weeks per month. So I need a great team here. So thank you, CD, for the great work. Thank you for the, my core team. And I want to thank as well all the entrepreneurs in residence who actually spend hours, like City State earlier, hours working with the startups. We are just showing those here because a lot of you know my team, but we can't do that as well without our facilitator, our coach, our expert. So thank you guys for spending a lot of time with our startups during the past 100 days. So, I want to thank this, the stars of today and for their great presentation. They will come on stage to take some pictures with me. So guys, come along. And some of you know I've been working on a massive project for the past two years. For the past year, we work, wrote a book. A lot of the authors of this book are here. We have 70 writers for the book here in the room. The proper launch of the book is going to be on the 11th of June. There were just a few copies I was able to get from Wiley. Just a few I got from Wiley sent here last week. Um, but you can order those on Amazon and please sign up for our proper launch where authors are going to all sign the books on the 11th of June. So on this note, let's have a few pictures with the team. <laughs> <laughs> and I would like to welcome on stage mentors, partners, whoever wants to come who have been working with the startup so that we can take another group picture. Please come in and we are actually going to move then to the networking part of the event, so you are all welcome for drinks and nibbles. Meet with the startups. I know there are a few books available and should be on the 
startups stand. Yeah, nothing can happen without Penny. So anybody in that room wanting to take my Penny? <laughs> Alex, thank you guys. Let's have some fun. Let's talk to the startups. Let's find out a little bit more about their proposition. <laughs>